Ever wondered how people can get through mini canyons so cleanly? Or maybe, maybe, your problematic area is Cavey McCave? And I'm guessing a lot of people absolutely hate the shortcuts, but don't worry, I'm going to show you how you can get better at all three areas. Ah, Mini Canyon, the scene of many airways fatalities, but it's actually not as bad as you might think. I do have a visual mark that I aim for every time I go through here, and I'm going to show you where that mark is, and with a little bit of practice, you can be really consistent at this. So let's have a look at this in a little more detail. Okay, so going into Mini Canyon, I'm going to be showing you where this mark is. i stop the video a little bit here. You can see the mark right there. And the goal here is to land with the nose of the car right on the button of that mark whilst facing the ring on the exit. So you can see here, this is the line I want to take through. And you may also see me give a little bit of left input on the analog stick. This is a, really a case of muscle memory taking over because the next corner is a left-hander after this one. So turning left just helps me to get through that corner a little bit quicker. But apart from that, it really is just a case of making sure that all four wheels land on the ground at the same time so that you don't have any stability issues. And just for your own reference here, I'm going to show you what will happen if you face your car a little bit too far left when you land. And a little bit too far right. So spend a little bit of time practicing this and before you know it, you'll never ever 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 have to worry about choking in a race ever again. Now with Cavey McCave, all you really need to do here is make sure you get a clean landing, as in all four wheels hitting the platform at the same time, that you face the centre of the cave when you come off the platform, and that you get your car moving upwards as quick as possible. So let's break this down a little bit here. So on approach, you want to be coming quite close to this pylon here, just to give yourself a nice wide line and more than enough room to get round this pylon here. And that will help you line up your approach on the ramp a little bit easier as well. So stopping on the ramp here, you can see that I'm basically landing on the base of the ramp. And this is because, number one, the ramp is already facing more or less in the direction we want to go. So it's a good visual reference point. And two, the ramp can sometimes give you a nice little pop-up, which can help with upwards momentum. So from here, you want to be getting as close as you can to the roof of the cave without hitting it. One last important thing that I should uh, point out here is when I launch off the ramp, you can see I'm letting go of boost. This is because keeping hold of boost can give you a little bit too much forwards momentum and you don't want to be fighting against that. You want to be getting upwards momentum as quickly as you can. So letting go of boost can really help with that. Now, a while back, Kauko posted some words of wisdom in the airways discord and i do completely agree with what he's saying here for the shortcut it is a case of training if you want to get better but i am going to give you some tips here that you might not know that will help you get up to speed a lot quicker than doing it by yourself and the first thing i want to point out in the image on the left here is that the shortcut is not a straight line which makes going through the whole thing at supersonic very very difficult but you can see that the final three wins do sort of line up and you can get through these supersonic but in order to do this you need a good line into those three wins which in turn means that you need to get a really good second ring with minimal to no clipping which also means you need to get a good first ring to set you up for the second ring still following Okay, so on the way to the first ring, I'll air roll to the left a tiny bit just to set myself up properly. And I'll stop the video for a second here to show you that the line I follow here is the natural curve of the wall on the right. 
and this gives me the best chance of getting a consistent line into the ring. And the other two things I want to point out are that when you go through this first ring, when you make contact with it, let go of boost so that if you get a bad exit, you won't be boosting in some random direction and you've got chance to rectify that bad exit. And the next one, it might just be something that I do, I'm not sure, but when I make contact with that first ring on the left side of my car, you'll see my uh, L1 button flash for a split second because for whatever reason, I find that L rolling left when I make contact helps to stabilize my car a little bit more. So if you can get through this first ring cleanly, stabilize your car, get through the second ring without clipping, drift over to the right slightly, and then you can go full send through the other three. Now, some of you might be thinking, but my car do the wing without clipping. Well, let me help you with that. So all you need to do here really is go very, very slowly whilst you are learning this process. And for approaching the rings, all you want to focus on is not making contact with any part of the ring on any part of your car. And the best way to get through these rings is with your nose below center of the ring and your car upright. And just as you're about there at the ring, you can boost up and through it, pushing up on your analog stick. And as you come out the other side of the ring, you pull back again on your analog stick to make sure that you don't lose any height and that you're prepared for the next ring. And you can see here the way the car moves up and down through the rings from a side view. If you can get this down, then going supersonic will be no problem in the future when your muscle memory takes over. And even taking it really safe in the shortcut like this, you can still have the beating of the guy going up and down. But put a little bit more practice into this, you can be beating the guy before he's even gone up, never mind down. Now, if you are looking for a way to help you train all of this, then make sure you get the Airways training plugin made by Blacku, which enables you to teleport to any checkpoint on the map that you like. And we do have a page in Discord that shows you how to get this set up. And it only takes about two minutes, so well worth looking at. Anyway, thanks for watching, and good luck at not being garbage anymore.